uh, ranked, if I say that correctly, uh, second in Spain. So oh, yeah, everybody in Spain knows him already. That's for sure. Yeah, in Spain, but the rest really doesn't. So mm -hmm. we have the number two. Mm -hmm. That's gonna Spain. change today as he is facing off with a Gluttony's Wolf, and I like the Wolf choice. I think that's definitely a bit of a better matchup than the Wario, especially on Wi-Fi, of course, or LAN adapter, I should say. And he is starting off uh, well. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunate trade got Gluttony in the corner there. He definitely could have, uh, could have pushed his advantage uh, a bit further if that wasn't a trade. I don't know what these side Ooh. Bs are. Are they supposed to be the hardest of reads right here in game one or are these just misinputs for the blaster? Uh, yeah, misinput reverse laser is very scary because then you get that side mm -hmm. B and Samus gets a chance to fire that charge shot. And once Samus gets some hits and you see that charge shot and those arrows do so much damage, Gluttony now in a percentage is Advantage. Oak reads the charge shot there, sends it back. And now Siskri is going to be have a bit more careful with that because Gluten shows he is capable of just timing those or reading those charge shots. Mm -hmm. And it's going quite as even now, but then as I say that, Gluten gets that de devastating back air in. And Cisco is now right. At a right, Cisco did a little wave land on the platform, but uh, after that he just kind of ducked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Normally you expect something after a wave land, you know, but he just kind of sat there. Yeah, of course. So uh, it's going to be an early lead for uh, Gluttony, of course. Uh, Samus is uh, not short for kill power at all. Um, but the charge shots are going to be hella still. So you want a big fat charge uh, to take the stock. Of course, neutral air, uh, dash attack uh, are uh, options that you could hit raw, so to say, or to catch a landing. The screw attack is going to be a crutch kill option for when you really can't find anything other. Oh, you know, okay. And fortunately for Sisqui, he is playing on the stage with the lowest ceiling and he mixed up Gluto's DI right there with Screw Tech. So that's going to be a stock in favor of him. And we get a nice little bread and butter combo. Double up air to the Screw Tech. It's going to almost even up the percentages. Oh, and a big read oh. from Sisqui with a jumping charge shot. He is looking very good here on stock two. All right, yeah, Siski getting just a couple of hits in and reading Gluttony for a solid 10 seconds in a row, I would presume. And that means that Gluttony is going to be a bit more uh, at risk of, of dying to that charge shot and maybe a setup. Gets a couple of hits in on his own classic ah. jump down from Latch yeah. in that forward air. Still fools people. And he catches yet another jump out of shield with a charge shot. Siski is so on point with his raw charge shot, but I guess mm. Gluttony is even more on point right there, catching a, a whiff landing forward air with the forward smash. So despite all the momentum that Siski had right there, it's still going to be Gluttony who is the first to take stock number two. All right. Good okay, okay, there. okay. Beautiful smash tag from Siski. For some reason, not quite going to kill. Uh oh, and now Siskui. Out of like neutral air, there's the grand yeah. up throw, and Siskui is back in the game, but he is looking a little bit damaged here right now at 99%. Of course, Samus is very heavy, so she should be able to live for a while, provided Siskui can avoid Gluttony's smash attacks, which are already coming out, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it's that smash attack and that backer you need to be careful of, and especially that backer. There we go, Gluttony has been showing that he is not afraid to pull it out. And right, he shouldn't be, because we have all seen that Siskui, like a lot of Samus players, just love uh, drop jumping from ledge with an aerial. And of course, Wolf's back air is uh, very well suited to punish uh, those kind of attempts to get back on stage. Yeah, and now we are going to into game two. And it, it's... It, oh, all right. We're going instantly into game two, I guess. Both players... Oh, no. We're, don't press start again, please do not do that. <laughs> it confuses <laughs> everyone. They, they do like to mix up us a Yeah, <laughs> no, but what I was about to say, like the first game we saw that once we gets in, he does get a lot of correct calls on Gluttony. But it's like when Gluttony is just in the neutral position, Siskui is kind of struggling to stay out of Wolf's hitboxes, gets hit by a lot. And that means the damage just keeps wrecking on and on and on. And Siskui can just not keep up with that at most times. Right, right. Uh, I think it's going to be tough for him in game two. He uh, got a lot of great charge shot reads on the jumps. And I think uh, and a player that's as aware of the way his opponent plays as Gluttony. That's where, of course, all his clutch comes from. 
um, is is not going to be jumping into any more of those charge shots. So he's he's gonna have to be a little bit more in control during neutral. And I think that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a, a nice 63, a nice 63 that is expanding to an 89 with uh, the grabs. Oh, oh, he didn't go for the jab too. <laughs> I know it's not a true combo, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it does have a pretty good angle. If the jab two hits, that's a pretty good angle for sending people off stage. Yeah, it, it is scary. The, also, the scariest thing about uh, being in percentages like this, Samus does have one of the strongest and uh, sh uh, most scaling up throws in the game. It's like a couple of hits away from actually doing the job. It is Kalos, though, that is, so it is going mm -hmm. to be a high ceiling. But like still... you said, that up throw is one of the most scaling up throws in the game when it comes to rage. Um, and when I started talking, since we didn't have that much percent, <laughs> of course, yeah. it was a <laughs> Gluto is the kind of guy to put that up all the way to 116. Can he get an edge guard? Doesn't go for it. He stays on the ledge. Is he gonna block him out with a neutral? No, he tries to give him the space, bait him into a roll. But Sisqui just stood there and held shield, um, which uh -oh. is often the best course of action when you are uh, stuck in the corner and you're not sure what to do. Uh, every time I see uh, Sisqui jump from the ledge, I, I'm, I'm so scared because I know <laughs> something is gonna happen. Bruni has caught on on that habit and mm -hmm. that lash attack is gonna send straight up the leg is going to send straight up. And I yeah, don't and this is a big mental blow against yeah. Siskui because he was doing so well at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. So well at the start of the game. And what do we have now? Um, a stock lead for Gluttony. And as you can see, he is focusing on shield. He is not jumping a lot. Siskui is trying to get those big jump reads with the charge shot again. But like I said, that works for one game. But a very adaptive player like Gluttony you know, might not let that happen again again too. And thus, we can see Sisqui struggling to get the kill. Ooh. Finally gets the jump read, not with the charge, but with the back air. It's gonna do the job all the same. Definitely one of the strongest back airs in the game, provided you hit that sweet spot. Especially how fast it comes out for a character being so floaty and tricky to catch in the air. That means it has a lot of potential to just take a stock unexpectedly. It does, it does, but <laughs> right now Gluttony is just in total control at the ledge. He lets him recover. But uh, usually, when he's at the ledge, he uh, hits a couple of moves, and Sinsisqui right back. Sinsisqui did manage to fight his way back on stage, gets a nice charge cancel for the grab, but he's gonna need way more to make the comeback. Oh, okay. beautiful oh. four tilt, angled down. Not sure if he jumped or if invincibility just ran out. Of course, you have a shorter invincibility time if you just grab the ledge after grabbing it not too long ago. If you're at high percent, a lot of different factors that can uh, work into this. A nice little read on the landing on the platform. And he gets the two frame with the down smash. Ooh. Beautiful stuff here from Sisqui. He is all the way back in the game. He actually is. Samus does do a lot more damage to work. We've seen Gluttony with the extreme advantage stages just keeping, keep on wailing with those aerials. Now, since we has to find a quick way to get back at Gluttony, he is around 40% behind. Gluttony is ready for those charge shots. It seems not really able to reflect them at this time, but he is ready for them. He is expecting them, and that helps a lot because that means Siskui has to approach. And of course, Wolf's buttons are so very good at catching. Oh, oh yes, okay. They are. And that's a charge down smash. Not quite going to be enough for the stock. I mean, that would have been a really early <laughs> stock if it was. But I like. Uh, that Gluttony actually went for the down smash because you actually have quite a bit of air mobility after a screw attack, after a grounded screw attack especially. A lot of people just get mixed up. They charge the smash attack and sometimes just drift the other way. But not Gluttony. He went for the down smash. He never uh, gave up his advantage stage afterwards. And that is a game two in favor of Gluttony once again. That's actually the first up smash out of shield we've seen. <laughs> we right, actually right. haven't seen it a lot from Gluttony, which is surprising, seeing how how mm -hmm. absolutely, uh, how do you say this nicely? Good, the move is. <laughs> <laughs> of it's course, of course, uh, Samus is the kind of character uh, who doesn't have to throw a lot of punishable moves on shield. Instead, of course, they like to jump back with the charge shot and the Zeres a bit more. And Gluttony, as a player, uh, uses a lot less shield and a lot more movement to uh, avoid enemy attacks. 
So those are all factors that contribute to that being one of the first we have seen so far. Um, but it might not be the last. And once again, they fail <laughs> when it comes to selecting the right stage. Apparently, no uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. I mean, would have been would have been a fine uh, stage for Siskui to play on. It's good for Samus. I, I am confused. They pick a different stage and then just instantly, oh no, this is not the correct one. Or, okay. How, okay, how think, is this guy so wrong, dude? <laughs> I think one of them still had Pokemon Stadium 2 selected from game one. The yeah. other had Kalos. They could have had Pokemon Stadium 2 last game, but through random chance, they got the correct one. Um... And then in game three, not so much. <laughs> of course, the streamer has a random stage selected, as you should. It's maybe something these two could learn from. <laughs> but we are getting into game three. Let's find out if... Uh, yeah, they, they meant to go back to Kalos. That's why they immediately started. Because, you know, they thought we got Kalos last time. Why wouldn't we get Kalos this time? Yeah, of course, why not? It seems to be that both players liked it, but... The, the main part that uh, disturbed Sisqui's plan is that Gluttony is not really uh, caring about those charge shots. He doesn't really get any big reads out of them. He doesn't get. He didn't get any jump reads out of it. He doesn't get any grabs out of it. And that means there's a big portion of Samus' damage just missing. Right, then, yeah. right. Gluttony is either so far away he can easily react to the charge shot, and he is no longer carelessly jumping into it as he was in game one. Uh, or he is uh, completely in Sisqui's face, which is of course not a place you can really use uh, charge shot unless you already have a proper charge. So I guess I guess that's the way that Gluttony is dealing it. Oh, he wanted to go to the ledge safely with that with the B, but uh, I guess he just slightly misjudged the distance. So that was a good dash attack punish by Gluttony, and once again we are in this neutral. And. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 bro, bro, okay. <laughs> this is just so unfortunate for Sisqui. Gluttony did a very weird uh, uh, wolf flash to get off the ledge. He actually got hit by the up tilt, but for some reason was sent backwards. And then Sisqui is the first one to lose his stock. That's gotta hurt at least a little bit. Um, especially for Sisqui's mentality. And now we've got the Gluttony juggles going on 48% before Sisqui gets back with a down air. Yeah. That's the second hit. You gotta wait for the second hit if yeah. Samus uh, triggers the neutral air so close on your shields. Oh. Doesn't go for the up throw. No. I think it would have killed. Up throw would have definitely killed. All right, interrupts that side B. I don't know what that input was about, but interrupts that side B with that back air, and, and that's gonna be a kill, Gluttony. But at 187%, that's oh, not. Yeah, that's gonna be a big to. combo. 42% <laughs> charge grab down throw four there. That's a big percent for yeah. this week. And that's actually the first time he has gotten a charge shot into a grab, and that's the biggest form of damage Samus can get, especially in those early percentages. And that actually can mean the world. That means it's this, the percentage detrimage, the detrimental is not as big. Gluten does not, does not have to, uh, or does not get the freedom to move as much as he wants, because most of the time Gluten has been just jumping around, throwing out aerials, throwing out hitboxes, and Sisqui has been falling for them. Yeah, once again, he just can't get away from Gluttony's pressure. Now he's stuck at the ledge. The neutral airs are gonna hop over the uh, the getup attack and still hit him on the way down. Sisqui, man, he is looking like he's a little bit out of it is. And yeah. sometimes, you know, uh, a good old anti-air back air or forward air it's just gonna put you right back in the game. He goes for the jab too, but there's the shield. Of course, not a true combo. Oh, I've seen so many jab twos at the ledge. Meanwhile, most Samus players actually go for jab one into either a charge shot or a grab just to mix it up. But mostly Sisqui has been using the jab two, that, that not that, that ever not connecting jab right, two. Which is interesting because at the start of the set he did, like most Samus players, only use jab one. Yeah. And uh, you know, it can be a bit of a mix-up to start off with just using jab one and only using uh, jab two later when you see they're not instantly shielding per se. Um, but now that he has seen the shields on the jab too, he should probably stop using it. Uh, Gluttony, meanwhile, getting the up tilt, uh, the raw up tilt, to put what? Sisqui on his final stock. And now he is trying to show us some clips, show us some sauce. But uh, Sisqui not giving it to him. Of course, it's very hard to edge guard a tether like that. That just can instantly pull a character back to the ledge. 
Yeah, that is kind of difficult. You, of course, have a bounce smash, but still you have to time it pretty quickly, and that's not always as easy. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the movement from Sisqui right now. The way he was uh, tricking up his landings, hitting Nair 2s. That's good stuff. That's good stuff, but it's not going to help him. I mm. think that it's Sisqui losing his final stock to a back air. Gluttony with the quick 3-0, but Sisqui put up quite a fight. He put up quite a fight, but in the end, it was just like Gluttony was darting around Sisqui so much that he didn't really know what to do with it. And that means that the head-to-head -head ratio is going to be increased. Gloomy taking his third set over Chris, uh, Sisqui in total. And that means that Gloomy is our first top eight contestant we have in the winner's side here. And of course, Sisqui is going to try.